NBA 2K18 tutorial number 16. Today we do our second freelance offense of the year and it will be a detailed study on how you can utilize the swing motion cuts freelance to its optimal level. Yes, we will be moving away from the Warriors motion freelance and today with this freelance we're going to focus on pick and fades, pose ups and katanas. So much different from the spread offense that I showed you in Warriors motions focusing on pick and rolls and handoffs and RC slips. So this is the bully ball version of 2K18. We're going to play through our picks to create on court success online, offline and against your friends. So setting up the swing motion cuts, make sure you have the settings that are identical to the ones you see here for best results. So this is really important for coach settings, make sure it looks exactly just like that with ace off and the play vision and play call display as such. And to set up swing, all you gotta do is tap left on the d-pad and you scroll the pages for R2, make sure you select motion cuts first. It's X, so you tap X, and then you're gonna scroll R2 again until you see swing, and when you see swing, tap square. So those are the settings you need, and make sure you do them as such. So first things first, option number one of swing motion cuts is the wing pick and fade. This is pretty much the bread and butter action of this entire freelance and you're going to start with this majority of the time to create openings for yourself and your bigs to succeed. So essentially you want to call the pick and fade with the big, go to the middle, turn the corner and there you get the mid range. Now but there are details in that. So you gotta make sure the pick is being set towards the middle right. So Lamarcus Aldridge is coming for the icon pick and fade and I've tapped uh, R1 to turn it to a fade and uh, the R2 screen's angle is correct so if he's coming to sending you towards the middle like that this is what you want because when he does this the screener always fades to the mid range that is the key about this freelance is that they will always fade to the mid range and never the free ball so if you get the defense to commit on that drive you get that mid range all the time and because the you know the screener always goes to the mid range you got to make sure you find someone that can hit that shot so Lamarcus Aldridge is perfect so make sure you find the right center and uh, powerful for that shot and this is a great early offense tactic as you can see here I just bring up the ball they commit to the double Lamarcus is just too good at the pick and fade and also this is very good to do at the beginning because this is a very low turnover rate attack as you can see here the fade is a very easy pass and you're not going to force it so if it's there just take it but the, the defense is smart, they can shut down your fade by simply staying attached to the screen as you can see there. So they stay attached and shut down the fade but no worries, still pass it to the fade man, make him catch the ball and you immediately go into a high low post up. That's the counter if they shut down the pick and fade. The high low post up will get you really good position because of the swing motion freelance and because you're going out of a 3-2 fade. Excellent position for interior attack. So, how to trigger the post up obviously. So some of the time, there's an AI duck in from the corner. As you can see here, I run the pick and fade. They shut it down, I couldn't get a really clean shot, but you can see Cousins walk in there himself automatically. So that's a nice easy high-low pass. Mm, dunk it all over pal. But obviously you don't want to do that because it's not reliable. So what you really want to do is you want to kick left on the D-pad for quick post up. So you can see my AD has cached the fade here and I have tapped left on the d-pad and that brings up the play calling and all i simply gonna do is click post up like i don't have to worry about calling a cousin low post or you know icon selecting cousins to post up this is because anthony davis has the ball if i call a post up now it's gonna go to the other big man because a swing motion freelance is for you know two big man so i tap triangle here and i trigger the post up and you can see as I have uh, tapped it here, Cousins is going to get into really, really good position. He seals pal. That's pretty deep. There's a swing motion freelance branch that triggered on his own. I'm going to use it. Beautiful motion cut read for success. So, but if you're on the PS4, even better. So you can run the pick and fade, cash the fade. If it's shut down, all you're going to do is go to your controller and swipe your PS4 touchpad from left to right. If you do that, that triggers a automatic quick post up which will be Cousins once again. So you can see Cousins is in the far corner here on the right side. I have swiped the touchpad as AD caught the ball and Cousins is just gonna make his way into the paint and he's gonna shove everyone out of the way because I tell him to quick pose up off the touchpad. Beautiful work. So since I'm on the PS4, this is how I've always caught a quick pose up. So you can see they shut down the pick and fade here by staying attached. I'm gonna swipe my touchpad left to right, which gets Cousins into the low block, bounce pass, for success, draw some fouls. This is very good for drawing fouls because 
you are going to be in such deep position. If they shut down this pick and fade, they're giving up this high low dive. So you can see I've swiped the touchpad from left to right here again on PS4. I get into deep position, like that's way too deep out of a high low. Tons of fouls, make sure you pump fake, make sure you pick a big that's good at drawing fouls. So you can see there again, they shut down the pick and fade. I'm gonna swipe the touchpad and a high low to pal so and sometimes I'm so deep, I don't need the foul, I'm just gonna score. Now, the defense can also adjust by switching the pick and fade to shut it down, right? If they can't stay attached, but if they do that, just kill the mismatch. Because a lot of the time, you're using a guard and a big to run that pick and fade. So don't hesitate, do it again. Punish Tony Parker here. If he wants to switch on the anti Davis, let him and murder him. I don't even need to run the high low. I'm just gonna force my way in there, draw some more fouls. That's why this is bully ball. That's why swing motion cuts freelance is so good because it's just using your picks to get a lot of fouls. So when you get the mismatch, so here they switched it again. I got Danny Green on me. So I'm either gonna take him on the triple threat or the post up either or. I can like stay patient. If the first move don't work, I'm gonna get in there, call ISO by swiping a touchpad right to left to call ISO. Spin move, mismatch, take advantage of it. Like I said, a lot of the time, this is gonna turn into a 1-4 switch, which is a huge win. Look at Anthony Davis and Tony Parker. Like, they can switch it to shut down the fade, but now they gotta pay. Mm, AD, finish it up. So option number two of the swing motion cuts that I love is the wing katana. And this is an excellent quick hitter for this freelance. Like. This is a very unique way of attacking in 2K that I've showed you guys before. If you don't know this, make sure you watch tutorial number 5 for my all tutorial playlist. But if you know what's going on, you know what's going on. So to run the katana though, you run, run it on the wing with swing motion freelance, deadly. Swing motion cuts, you can see, get at the bottom, it's gonna cut around, go into the middle. Now there's a little bit of timing here. So you wanna make sure you pass and then hold X to trigger the give and go or katana before the screen is set. So you can see me pass to pow here before he sets the screen. I wanna do that because this will give pow more space to face up and pass. You can see he won't get bobbled here because I've given him enough space. So now all I gotta do is hold on to X, turbo around with Kawhi. I'm gonna let go of X to pass, throw it down. Mm, the claw, that's a nasty dunk. So you can see again, I'm just bringing the ball up. I'm already in swing motion cuts. I'm gonna pass to Pau before he sets the screen, gets him the open space in need so he can face up and pass it back to me as I let go of X, dunk it over Anthony Davis. Now obviously the defense can adjust again, they can help and they can stop the Kiptana. But if they do that, if you pass it right, you're still gonna draw an extra defender, work it back to the opposite big man because we're in swing motion cuts, free to spacing, nice and close, easy finish. So you counter the help by swinging the ball. Hand swing motion cuts freelance. So watch it again, I'm gonna run a early Katana with True Holiday. Look at that clean cut. Beautiful kick out, Solomon Hugh, two points. And you can see it again. See, I passed him before the screen is set, which gets AD a little bit of space. He bobbled, but it's still good. We rotate it twice this time. Solomon Hill, swish bomb. And the key to all of this is that you can actually combine option two plus one. You can go winging katana into the pick and fade. So in a single possession, if you're running swing motion cuts, you can actually run one katana and two pick and fades at least. So you can do it. You can see me do it here. I bring it with Drew Holiday. Get out of the customs out of this wing pick and fade. Make sure the screen is sending me to the middle and it's a fade. Catch it, no katanas. Work it back around, back to the swing call. Another pick and fade on the opposite side with Rondo. There's the fade again, no fade. I'm gonna swipe the touchpad left to right, high, low. That's great action. Everything all together, all within 24 seconds. You can see it again. And that's the thing about this freelance, right? You're using katanas, you're using pick and fades, and you're using high, low post ups continuously. It's a complete switch around from everything I've taught you in the uh, Warriors motion cuts where you're focusing on slips, middle pick and rows, and you know, spread action and handoffs. This is completely different. This is bully ball. It favors size, it favors mid range, and it favors wing cuts. So it still works, right? That's what makes it so good. You can see another high low here straight to Cousins, one power dribble, double pump, still finish it up. So you got talented big man and you want to play through your big man, do this. And obviously, this is not an either or situation. You don't have to only run Warriors motion, or you don't always have to just run swing motion. You can run both. If you have a bigger, ooh, look at that high low right there. That's nasty touch pad left to right. And if, like I said, if you have a bench that is suited more for uh, swing motion, but you have a starter that is a spread offense, switch it around. So when you set your bench on, switch your entire offense into this. So a user or the computer is going to get used to guarding your spread offense and all of a sudden you're bringing the bench and instead of going middle pick and roll and handoffs, you're going all pick and fade and high low. And they're both very efficient in their own way. 
Personally, this is a much more low turnover rate offense if you haven't caught on to it by watching what's going on here. This is very low turnover because you're doing pick and fade passes which is much less riskier than obviously pick and roll passes. And you're also doing high low and sometimes you can even do a high low, whole triangle, flush in the other big. Now you go in pick and fade, high low pass and big to big flush. All right? These are all very clips and read and react simple passes so way less turnover pro much small smoother and a complete switch around from warriors motion cut which is always good to stay versatile family i actually prefer this as my uh, starter when i play a game because i don't want to give up easy turnover right? if you start off a game and you give up easy turnovers in a spread offense the other guys you know he might get uh, more comfortable he might get hot or he might just get confident but if you do this nice and slow low turnover and most importantly oh look at that step Fruits turn around, damn, damn. And most importantly, you draw fouls, so you take out their starters. This offense draws way more fouls than any spread offense you would do. Like the Warriors motion cuts is great, you get freeze, you get high quality shots, but you don't draw fouls. This one, tons of fouls. Look at a spin post move. So, let me know if this worked for you guys and if it worked out well for you. Uh, starting in next week, there will be much more uh, focus on post ups bully ball and you know playing out of the pinch pose playing out of the elbow playing out of the low pose because i've talked about the spread so now i'm showing you guys how to utilize other areas of the court right we're not just going to be a spread offense we're going to be an everything offense and that's what we've started today there will also be uh online footage of me murdering people <laughs> with the warriors motion cuts free hands because i consider that one done so you guys know how i do this i always show you detailed footage to teach you everything and then I'll show you online footage of me using the same thing. So there will be online footage maybe on Friday or Thursday of me uh, utilizing Warriors motion cuts. The previous entire offense I've taught you for full glory and all the defensive settings, obviously. So as always, family, thanks for coming by. And uh, yesterday, I think in the comment section, someone asked me how to destroy Switch. This is how you destroy Switch. You go to swing motion freelance. If you notice someone is running Switch, you run pick and fades. That's going to force them into terrible matchups. That's how you beat a switch defense. So that's how you heard it. You might not beat it, but that's how you heard it really bad. All right. Thanks for coming. Appreciate the support. And I'll see all of you next time.